In this video, we'll look at the process of picking, packing and shipping products. We can set up the picking process as a one or two step process. The two step process provides tighter control as we must register the picking list after it has been posted. The one step process does this automatically. So we can set up the two step process by going to set up in accounts receivable and accounts receivable parameters. And we have to go to the updates tab and under picking list we find picking root status and we change this to activated. So now let's create a picking list from a sales order. We'll go back to account receivable, all sales orders. And we'll highlight a sales order and we'll click generate picking list. And now we'll see the picking list form. We can select the quantity. We'll keep this on all. We can choose whether to print the picking list review the details and press OK. And we'll have a warning about posting without printing and the operation will be processed. Now, because the two step process is activated, we'll have to register this picking list. So once again, under the pick and pack tab, we'll click picking list registration. We can review the details and we see the status is activated here. We'll choose update and the status will be changed to completed and we'll close the form. We can review the journal entry for this picking list by going to picking list and we'll see the handling status is completed. Next, when the item is ready to ship, we'll post a packing slip. Now, if the picking requirement parameter is checked on the item model group, items must be picked before inventory is physically updated, and the sales order line must have a status of picked before we can create a packing slip. If the picking list registration is not done, then the physical inventory will be updated on posting the packing slip. So we'll go to pick and pack again and packing slip to open the packing slip posting form. Again, we can specify the quantity. We'll keep that as all. Posting, yes. We can choose to print or not. Review the details and click OK. Again, we have our printing warning and process the operation.